Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Yvette Harris. If you're new here, if you're not new, thank you for coming to watch another video of me. So today is going to be a little different. This is actually a story time or I guess that's the best thing to call it. A story time of me being 16 and pregnant. Um, this, I feel like that this is definitely also going to be a, a relatable video to anyone else that went through the same thing as me. And I also feel like that this will be an informational video if it might be parents out there that have young girls that are going through what I went through or you're trying to prevent them from going through what I went through. You know, don't be scared to let them watch this video if that is the case because I, I'm just going to be raw and honest. I'm going to be raw and honest of what I went through, you know, back then and how it's affecting me now. Um, this video is also in collab with my childhood best friend. Her name is Faith Shepherd. She does have a YouTube channel as well where she gives her side of the story as far as her being 17 and pregnant. Just in case you need someone else's insight or, you know, just someone else to listen to as far as your their pregnancy story. So, I got pregnant at 16 and how I found out was... I was at work and I worked at a clothing store and honestly it didn't even cross my mind that I was pregnant because for one I wasn't that many days late on my period and I wasn't even paying attention as far as me being late because I had taken a a plan B so I took a plan B and because I knew that there may have been a possibility that I was pregnant. But anyway, I took a plan B. So it didn't even register in my mind that I could have been pregnant because I'm like, well, I took a plan B. You know what I'm saying? I'm good. So, you know, clearly, <laughs> joke was on me because it didn't work. So <laughs> I, I, I was at work and I actually, on my lunch break, I went and purchased a pregnancy test and I took the pregnancy test in the bathroom at work well actually i worked in a mall so i took the pregnancy test in the mall bathroom with my co-worker which is actually my friend so because she was pregnant so i went in the bathroom with her but she was in a she was an adult i was still a minor i was 16. so i took it with her and when that thing came back positive all i could do was cry because i was in so much shock that I actually was pregnant. I was like, I'm pregnant? Like, I just couldn't believe it. I really couldn't believe it because I didn't even want kids. So it was just a shock to me that I was pregnant. But, and I'm being completely transparent in this video. Um, my first initial thought was to get rid of it because i just knew that i couldn't take care of a baby i just knew that i couldn't do it and i just was like i can't do it i just can't but that got thrown out so then my second thought was to give the baby up for adoption and instead of just giving it up for adoption to somebody that you know i didn't know i was actually my sister was gonna adopt the baby for me and those were just decisions that I made because everything was just hitting me at once and I just all of the emotions were hitting me at once and I just was like I knew I couldn't do this but I actually did not get to tell my parents on my own I told my sister I confided in my sister and told her and she went and told my parents so they actually picked me up from work and they we even went to go eat ice cream and they never mentioned it um well i did end up telling my parents but they already knew so from what i remember when we got home that night i ended up telling them and when i was telling my mom that you know i was gonna i wasn't keeping it she 
was not trying to hear that. <laughs> she was not trying to hear that, which I understand. I mean, I definitely understand that. Um, yeah. So she wasn't a fan of that. And as far as me telling the guy that I had the baby by, he just, I'm not going to go into detail of what he said, but he didn't want me to keep the baby either pretty much and i end up keeping it i kept the baby which is my son that is now nine years old that i love so much he's my firstborn and i end up keeping my baby i did not give my baby up for adoption um as far as going through the pregnancy, I pretty much did the, well, not pretty much. I did the entire pregnancy by myself. Of course, I had my mom and my dad, which my dad, he pretty, he really was like, he really was and is a father figure for my son because he's just been there since day one. And... I honestly don't know what I would have done without my parents because they helped me so much. And, you know, I had the baby shower. My sister threw a baby shower for me. I was the only participant there as far as, like, parent-wise. It was just me. So I went through everything by myself. And when it came down to me actually having my son, um, I didn't have to go through that alone, but I did not go through that with the father of my son. I actually went through that with my dad. My dad was the one that sat in the delivery room with me the entire time, you guys. Like, well, first my mom took me and then my dad came. So my mom, I had to get induced. So I had a healthy pregnancy. Nothing was wrong. Um, my mom, but I had to end up getting induced. And the reason being was because I was complaining to the doctor of, me like getting dizzy and stuff like that girl i was trying to say anything to get that baby out of me like i was fed up with being pregnant but well let me rewind i didn't even tell y'all about my experience in school so going to school being pregnant and being 16 being around other teenagers that i'm not gonna say it was a struggle because it's not like anyone looked down upon me but it just was hard going from class to class to class you know being tired and you still have to focus on your schoolwork. and it was my senior year in school and um i had my son in january which was midway through the school year so my principal she actually allowed me to skip out on the mid um the midterm exams because I wasn't, I was on maternity leave. I wasn't able to complete the schoolwork. So that was the difficult part, but they did actually form some type of group in my school where anybody that was pregnant, they could go and you you had somebody there, like a counselor to talk to. It was like a group setting. So that helped because you were able to relate to people that were going through the same thing that you were going through. Um, but I never was looked at like, like I was shunned. Like no one ever looked at me like, oh, she you were well, from what I knew. No one looked at me that way. Um, once I found out that I was pregnant, I used to catch the bus to school. So once I found out that I was pregnant, I stopped catching the bus completely. My mom and dad, they got me a car. Um, so I was definitely thankful for that. That car didn't last long because I ended up getting in the car accident. Somebody tried to hurry up and turn in front of me so i got in that car accident while i was pregnant but everything turned out to be okay but um yeah as far as just i just feel like i feel like my senior year was kind of stripped away from me because well I, I guess no because i still was able to go to prom because prom was like what close to summer like close to the end of the school year so I was still able to go so I was still able to go to prom and things like that it's just now looking back I would have done things completely different I don't regret keeping my child I don't regret anything as far as my child but if I had the option to make better decisions 
I would have not gotten pregnant at 16 because I feel like so much of my life was taken away um, at a young age, even though my mom and my dad, they helped me a lot because I was end up working two jobs. I worked at the retail store and I worked at a grocery store and my mom, she kept my son for me. She kept my son for me while I was working. So without them, I literally do not know what I would be able to do you guys because my mom and my dad, they didn't care about keeping my my son for me they really was helpful now on the downside of that is like what i'm experiencing um what i'm experiencing to this day is it's like when you grow up in a household and you're a minor and you have a child it's like your parents kind of take that child under their wing and they kind of feel like it's their child which i understand i definitely get it but that can affect you as you're starting to grow as a parent and grow and get older and get out on your own because it's like your parents still feel like that is their child. Like my dad did not want me to, you know, discipline my son when he was wrong. You know, he didn't. It's like that's where the lines started to get blurred because, yes, they were there to help me. My parents, you know, they have a hard time with me being a parent and being an adult because it's like now that i'm an adult i still kind of experience it like they have backed up but it's just like you know when it come down to stuff with my my oldest son it's like he you know they want to be involved because they've been there since day one so i get it i understand it's like you have a bond a relationship you've been taking care of this child since they came out the womb so i definitely understand that um but you know i end up i was with my parents i lived with my parents until my son was the age of three okay so i got pregnant at 16 i had my son at 17. i moved out of my parents house when i was 20. so my son was three when i moved out and the place that i live in now is the place that um the place that i live in now is the place that i've been living in since I moved out, which I'm blessed and thankful for because, you know, I know people that go from house to house to house and that's not something that I wanted for myself. So I was blessed to be able to live in this house, be able to pay my rent, which is not cheap, be able to pay my rent and take care of my son on my own. But my parents, they literally live not even five minutes away from me. So they still have been a big help to this day. But as far as how being a minor, and having a baby at such a young age has changed my life it's because now i'm 26 and i feel like that i'm just now starting to live my life as far as being with a man that truly loves me and cares about me and you know is a man and i want to travel the world with him i want to do so many different things i want to have a YouTube channel. I want to be able to shop. I want to be able to go out. I want to be able to get up and move when I want to get up and move. I don't want to be able to get off work and have to come home to tend to kids where you got to deal with doing homework, feeding them. You know, just I feel like my life was so I didn't be able to I wasn't able to experience being young. And yes, I'm still young now, but I'm 26 and I'm about to be 27. So it's just like now I feel like that I'm experiencing life and actually being an adult, but I can't fully experience life because I have children. And when you have children, everything changes. It's no more just about you, you know, and that's one thing that I do try to, um, I still tend to me, I still get glam, I still buy things for myself i still go on vacations but if it wasn't for my parents being there and helping me i would not be able to do that and everyone does not have that opportunity to have somebody that's willing to help you because if it wasn't for my parents having my children when i'm i'm out of town or you know if i want to go to the gym and i don't feel like dealing with the kids you know i if it wasn't for them there's no one that i would be able to depend on my kids do not have any godparents you know it's just it's not it's just hard it's hard so my thing is to anybody out there that is young and if you're not pregnant yet you know like just just take your time and i know 
you are told this all the time and it's such a cliche but enjoy being young because you don't want to get to where I'm at right now where you can finally live your life because you're able to financially and you're able to age wise because I'm an adult now so I can go on vacations you don't want to be in my position to where you can't move how you want to because you have young kids and you know I, that's not the only child I have I do have a five-year-old as well they're both boys so even with my five-year-old I had him when I was 21 and it still was too young so it's like my best advice is to live your life live your life live your life have a child when you are ready to have a child that you want to take care of that you want because once you have a child that puts a halt on your life you can't just get up and move you can't take an i remember man i remember when i first had my son i remember when i just wanted to when this is the stage where he started getting up and moving around and stuff like that i wanted to be able to just take a nap with without having to deal with a child i was like i can't wait until i could just go to sleep and my son can just do for himself as far as sit down and watch tv and i could just take a nap I, and I was like, I can't wait until I can just sleep throughout the night and not have to worry about a child because guess what? My mom, my mom from day one, she was like, I ain't staying up for no, I'm not getting up in the middle of the night for a child. She was not having it. She said, I'm not getting up. You go get up and get up for this child, which I understand. I understand because guess what? If my son was to come up with a child young, guess what? I ain't, uh, no, I'm not. Get up for who? No, I did mine. So it's just, just think about that. But I, but also on the flip side, if you are where I was at and in that position where you're young and you're pregnant or you're young and you have a, a, a young child, just know that it's not going to be like that forever. It's not going to be like that forever and you will make it through and you will learn as you go and guess what even though i have two kids i'm making it do what it do with what i have yes it does take adjustments for example when it comes to me filming these videos i can't just sit down and film a video i have to either make sure my kids aren't here make sure my son is in the room and not making any noise you know i can't or or i have to film when they're asleep or even when it comes to editing this video i can't do it with somebody besides you ma 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 i'm hungry ma he hit me ma my brother doing this ma like it's hard it's hard so just know that it's going to be hard but you will get through it because honestly every day I think and be like, man, I don't know how I made it through all of this. I don't know. And to be where I'm at right now with a good job in a household where I could pay all the bills on my own with a car that I had, my first car that I bought with my money paid off, you know, and I'm still driving that car around. So just know that it will be okay. But you also have to realize that one, you cannot be lazy. You cannot be lazy. I... I'm not going to say I don't have a lazy bone in my body because when it comes down to fitness, yes, I can be lazy. But when it comes down to me having to get out there and work or me having to do something to better myself or me having to do something for like when it comes to me making sure my kids are good, that's one thing I'm not lazy about at all. Like I've had two jobs for the, like I've, I've always been working to take care of my kids and now i'm glad that i'm to the point now where i could take care of my kids pay all of my bills and also live my life to where i want to live my life as far as going on vacations as far as spoiling myself with stuff i can do all of that but you have to get to that point so if you were where i was just know it's not going to be like that forever and honestly, everything that you go through in life is a lesson that's to, to be learned from it. And even though I say that if I could turn back the hands of time, I would do things differently. I would, but I definitely appreciate everything that I went through because if, if I didn't go through it, I wouldn't be able to tell someone else or maybe prevent someone else from going through it. So that's my best advice to anybody out there that's going through it. 
or you know or i hope somebody was able to relate to what i'm saying because it, it, it's just hard it's hard man just think about it it's like when you have a child and you're working like just like with this quarantine thing going on right now you know they canceled schools for kids for the rest of the school year daycare is not open what if i had a job where i had to go into work i would be s-o-l you know what i'm saying so it's just like i'm blessed and i'm highly favored and i can't do nothing but thank god for putting me in the position that i'm in right now where i'm able to do all of this and still take care of my kids you know what i'm saying so if you are in a position of where you want better for yourself all you can all you have to do is to continue to pray and to know that better will come but you you can't just be praying and not putting in no effort you know what i'm saying like don't just be praying or don't just be wishing that things get better or manifesting things get better and you not putting in no effort it don't work like that like for real for you you're you don't become a millionaire overnight unless you the one out of i don't know how many million but for the most part for people you have to put in that work you know what i'm saying so it's like don't complain about it if you're not gonna do nothing about it but just know if it's something that's out of your control just pray and just know that it's gonna get better hard times do not last forever and i know that's such a cliche but they don't they do not last forever okay so i know this video already too long y'all so okay i'm gonna just shut up but thank you for listening to my 17 and pregnant um yeah my son he keeps asking to make an appearance on my channel and i'm like i you know from jump i said that i wasn't gonna have my kids like i wasn't gonna even in vlogs because it's like people are cruel out there but it's just you know maybe one day you'll all see my son but he's a little handsome little thing so i just both of my kids are handsome I, i'm the only reason why i'm saying he is because i was talking about 17 and pregnant but both of my kids are beautiful little boys and i love them so much and i'm so happy that they are here to experience the person i am today and still learning to be because i'm still learning right now i'm still evolving as a mom right now i'm still learning how to be patient because let me tell you when my kids call my name five times i'll be ready to be like yo like why you keep calling me but i'm learning i'm learning i'm learning i'm learning and also this is the last thing i'm gonna say you guys also whether you're a minor or you are an adult be careful with who you have a child with and i say that because even though there are some moms out there that don't take care of their child let's just be honest nine times out of ten it's the dad that can easily walk away because it's like it's just i don't want to say too much <laughs> and be putting all my business out there but this is i'm gonna just say this be careful with who you have a child with because if you're a mom like me like where you're gonna take care of your child regardless of who take care of their child it's gonna be hard when you're doing it by yourself and especially whether it's a, a little girl or a little boy they need their father figure in their lives and the decision that you make to have a child with someone that is not going to be fully involved will affect that child as they get older because just to be transparent really transparent for a moment it breaks my heart when my son he asked me why i can't do such and such with my father so just think about that think about that before you lay down and have a baby with somebody think about that because that even though your moms you can't do it on your own that is a life-changing event for you and your child and it's never gonna go away that is something that you're gonna have to answer to eventually you might not have to do it right now but you're gonna do it all right so that's the last thing that i'm gonna say Thank you for listening to my story, you guys. Feel free to leave a comment, okay? If anybody needs something to talk to, somebody to talk to, if they're going through it, if you're a teenager, listen, I'm here because I've been there, done that. I'm 26 now. I'm a grown-ass woman. But guess what? That part of my life will always and forever be with me. 
so don't forget to leave a comment don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also do not forget to check out my friend's channel which is again faith shepherd and go listen to her story and see how it affected her life and see where she is now all right so i'll see you all next time bye you guys